Make the best of the morning X 99X. Guy and Johnny are here from Coldplay. Guys, Hello. welcome. Thanks Hi. very much. How's it going? I guess Leslie, you interviewed these cats in, back at the Gwinnett show, right? Yeah, Gwinnett Civic Center. Show sold out, and you guys let us broadcast the concert live, by the way. Thank you. A lot of bands wouldn't do that. I don't know why. I think a lot of bands are afraid about how the whole live thing sounds, but you were uh, gracious we're enough. We're fools. <laughs> <laughs> we're fools. No, you were gracious enough to let us broadcast the show live, and it was, it was stellar. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Thank you very Thanks much. A lot. You guys are on that religious experience level. People talk about you so passionately. Like some of these bands like Sigur Rose and, and like Radiohead and like these shows they go to where people just leave there and they're in awe. I mean, you're one of those bands. You, people just sit there and they're so freaked out about Coldplay. <laughs> well, but, that's a very high compliment. I yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, that, you're going to say it again? No, but yeah, that's got to kind of trip you out that people leave so mesmerized by your music well, it's a nice reward for the you know for the effort that we put into the music you know because we we spend a lot of time getting trying to get things right so you know it's it's good that people go away having had some kind of good experience you know yeah I guess it'd be better than them saying you guys just bloody Sucked. suck <laughs> what song on the album took the longest to record in my place definitely that took about three months I'd say it took lo it took twice as long as the first album to record no but that song took three months to record yeah pretty much song? why what was the what was the sticking point what I was don't know it was just a nightmare we didn't know how fast to do it how to do it you know I think it was because we'd written it the earliest out of any of the songs so we all kind of had an idea of how it should be and, and that idea was all different and so we just had to reach a point where we all agreed it just took it was uh, the most frustrating Thing. Now, obviously, radio in America is way different than it is in the UK, and Clocks became a very big hit here, got played on Top 40 Radio and Rock Radio. Was that different for you guys? What kind of an experience was that for you? Oh, it was amazing. I mean, um, we com feel completely privileged, really, that we do get played on the radio here, because uh, I think we're quite often a square peg in a round hole, you know? Yeah. We don't really fit the bill, and so um, we, we were ecstatic that it did so well, you know? It's crazy. Guy and Johnny are here from Coldplay. I want to ask you about the yellow video. Was that was that an accident? And then did it just start raining and you guys just said, "Screw it, let's roll"? Well, I mean, uh, I mean, I know you're not. I mean, Chris, well, we weren't in it. Yeah, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, but you're in the band. Well, no, but it was supposed to be this kind of uh, beach video, beach, wasn't it? Happy, With happy party <laughs> video. <laughs> I mean, there was a load of extras, you know, uh, behind the scenes who were ready to kind of play volleyball and uh, kick balls around and it was supposed to be like a, a sunny hot day no that's no. what it was it was really going to be like a beboppy kind of yeah, yeah right. I, I don't you know pretty che pretty cheesy probably it, how brilliant though that it rains on you and you just I roll know. and yeah. let him walk along the beat that was the most brilliant video i've ever seen <laughs> i remember seeing it before it was even on the air before anybody was even playing it it was on one of those random video shows and i was like god what is this this yeah. is so cool you guys are kind of pissed probably because it's just chris walking on the beach Hey, what well, about the rest of the band? You know, we, we actually, I mean, Chris is pretty good at doing the doing videos. You know, he can he can kind of play up to the camera a bit, but the rest of us are just terrible and we get <laughs> painfully embarrassed by trying to do so. So we we much prefer just letting him get on with it and, and doing it, you know. Yeah. All the poor extras in the band, everyone else is sitting under the tent and there he is just walking on the beach. Well, yeah. brilliant video, though. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much. Do well, you they, they kind of sent everyone home because it was raining so much and they just thought, oh, well, this is the last thing we can do. What a great Try accident, it. though. <laughs> I mean, what a great accident. Do you think that Chris was ready or do you think Chris was prepared to handle the media attention given to him when he started dating Gwyneth Paltrow? You think uh, he could have imagined what that would have brought on? I don't think anyone could be fully prepared. You know, mm -hmm. I think he's coped with it pretty well. You know, when things have got up on top, he's come out fighting. Yeah. <laughs> when are you guys going to find a hot actress? They may already have. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, when our girlfriends become actresses. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> good answer. Very go. good answer. Guy and Johnny are here from Coldplay. How is it back home, though? Can you walk down the street normally? Because oh, yeah. I totally. Absolutely. You know, um, we can walk down the street here normally. We can walk into the MTV building normally, you know. Back home, I would think it would just be mass hysteria because you're headlining all these huge festivals. Yeah, but we're a long way away, you know. <laughs> so, you know, if you've got binoculars, you might be able to tell who we are. But you met anybody cool? You know, because there's a lot of... The backstage at a Coldplay show is kind of a CNBC scene thing. Who have you met? Um, we met um, Brian Wilson at the when we played the Hollywood Bowl. He oh, wow. came down and... Um, we had a bit of a jam with him on a uh, on a guitar, and uh, that was pretty. That was pretty amazing. 
How did the Elton John thing go down at Gwinnett? Did, how did that whole thing come together that he went up and played with you well, guys? Well, he called... He, we, he heard that we were coming to Atlanta, and um, I think he quite often phones up bands and invites them over to his... He's got a nice flat in Atlanta. I think yes, he, he stays does. there. And um, he invited us for lunch, and, and we decided it would be a fun thing to do. So you went to his house for lunch? Yeah, yeah, we went and had lunch at his house, and then we asked him if he wanted to come on that night and play. And how was lunch at Elton John's house? It was Describe really cool. his house. <laughs> There's a lot of Venetian glass. Yeah. He collects I nearly knocked, lo- knocked over one of these things. And it <laughs> would have been like a domino effect. The whole table was full of them. It was enough. <laughs> uh-huh. But he was very gracious to us, and uh, we had, we had a, a really cool time, you know? Was that a surreal experience for you, just because it's Elton John? It was. I mean, it, we were all a bit worried about what do you wear to go and visit Elton John, because <laughs> we thought he was going to be, you know, because you know, he's, he's a man who likes to dress up. Yeah. And uh, so we all kind of made a bit of an effort and uh, when he answered the door he was in like uh, tracksuit pants yeah, we and like an old t-shirt we see him. I, I don't know where you get the dress up thing maybe on stage yeah, he's a tennis yeah. nut that's why he's in tennis clothes that's all the true time. actually yeah. yeah very true very true guys can wish you the best the continued success you're ob- you obviously don't need it you're rolling well thank you very much thank you for stopping by guys pleasure guys. Cole play thank you you're listening to the, the best, best of the morning, morning X. X you can also catch it on the morning X podcast wherever you get your podcasts or at 99x.com